Do you notice that some guys go to Ghana, they make money, and they come back to Nigeria? After three years, huh? The money is gone. They are left with nothing. They are broke like they are broke, like broke, broke. Sometimes they have to go back to the office. But going back to the office, most times they don't make money anymore. They get stranded. Let me tell you what happened. You know, there's a place in Ghana, which I won't mention, you know. You know, I won't call anybody's name. But if the person comes across this video, the person knows what I'm talking about. You know, this guy is a, is a very big chairman in Ghana. He takes his boys. Once he gets boys, new boys, he will take them to a church. You know what happens in that church? They will tell them, what do you want? They will, those guys who name their parents like, ah, I want to make money, blah, blah. They will tell them what to do and they'll do it. But there's something behind that stuff that those guys don't know. Only the shaman know about it. We they don't know. They just think, ah, I'm on my shaman, they try you, blah, 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 blah. He just be my work, my work just be. And they start, they're very happy, excited. Yeah, everybody wants money. The reason why they went there for the first place is because of money. Do you know what the guy actually does? The guy would take them there. You know, they would, they, they, would, they would give them some things and they would do. It's like a church. But what happens in the church is that those boys, any of the boys that goes there, they would call his future, like, if he's supposed to make 10 million naira in future, 20 million naira in, in future, 30 million naira in future, 40 million naira in future, they would draw the money to the present and they would take the money now. Now, they brought the money from the future to, to the present and you cashed out. Then you, you shared your future money with someone else. Now, most guys don't know about this, but I'm going to let you guys understand something. Now, let me assume like 10 boys comes, like they brought 10 boys. They do this, the same things again and again. Now, the boss, the chairman is making money at the expense of the boys. Now, you as a boy, you feel, oh, once you just cash out, ah, man, you're mine now. Ah, one more. I went to this office three weeks. I went to this four weeks, one month. I went to this office two months and I cashed out. Not knowing that they've used you like they used you to make money now you are you are you are the victim <laughs> you are the price they used you don't know they've used you they actually used you to make money they made money at your expense and you come back celebrating maybe you are able to buy a house and most times you are able to buy a car you drive the car for some months you get an accident to the car the car is gone. Otilo. After two years, everything is gone. You know, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, we you ten, we need to be very careful on the things we do, you know. I know we all need money. But we should be careful about the places we go to. We should be careful about the place the things we do. Not all that glitters are gold. Think about your future. It's not all about now. It's about tomorrow. Just think about it. It's 2023 and we need to be smart, you know?